Hello everyone, it's End Times Talk, and I wanted to come at you with a video uh, pertaining to a lot of things that are going on in the news. Uh, some you've heard, some you haven't heard. Uh, from what I understand, uh, Vladimir Putin has deployed uh, two uh, uh, supersonic blackjack nuclear bombers uh, near the UK uh, as a warning to the West just, just hours after deploying uh, uh, some bear bomb, uh, Russian bear bombers. Uh, with I think it was 30 fighter jets uh, uh, to uh, Alaska's coasts, basically, and and you know the the waters just off of Alaska, uh, you know threat basically in a, in a threatening stance uh, to the United States. Um, the uh, uh, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei uh, Lavrov of Russia uh, says we're at the point of no return with this war now. So I mean, and I've been saying this from from for, for like the past month or so that that we're already at the point of no return. You know, this this I truly believe is World War Three. When World War Two happened, it took a couple of years to really get it moving. Uh, you know, but I do believe that it that it truly started with the Olympics in in 1936 when the Illuminati, fine, uh, uh, you know, in in Berlin, Germany, crowned Adolf Hitler to go forward with World War II, and I do believe that in the 2022 uh, 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 Beijing Winter Olympics, the Illuminati crowned uh, Vla Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping to go forward with World War III. There was also a meeting uh, between Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping uh, 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 before the uh, Olympics op Olympic opening ceremonies, uh, where they basically made a deal to to help each other and see each other through uh, through the situations in their military through these uh, military situations that they that they had kind of uh, unfolding before them, and they, and they promised to support each other through it. Uh, uh, here's, here's a video uh, uh, of that situation.
Also, uh, you know, I want to state that, that, you know, the opening ceremonies, uh, and the closing ceremonies to the Olympics are an occult ritual. Okay. Like, like the, if you look at some of the, the, the opening ceremonies, uh, from different, uh, uh, Olympics, uh, that have happened throughout the years, uh, there's always, you know, some, uh, major occult symbolism within those. And, and I do believe that in 1936 is when the, uh, uh Illuminati, uh, got their hands on the Olympics and they, and they decided to uh, broadcast that worldwide. That's, you know, the first broadcast worldwide, uh, that had happened was the 1936, uh, Berlin, Germany Olympic games. And, and so, uh, I do believe it's part of the Illuminati agenda to, to, uh, kind of foretell their plans for the world. Uh, through the opening ceremonies uh, of the Olympics. Anyways, um, you know, we've been saying this from the beginning as well here at End Times Talk, you know, since we started making videos, that, that we truly believe that these, uh, these wars that are breaking out are a restructuring of borders for the Ten Kingdoms for the Antichrist. I think that's the true underlying factor of why all of this is happening. Uh, is because, you know, they're establishing a, a one world order, uh, a one world government for the Antichrist to take power of. And, and once they have it uh, 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 all connected together, that's when I believe we're going to see uh, the Ten Kings arise and then the Antichrist not long after that. All right. So also, uh, you know, I was watching the uh, Canadian prepper, you know, and he uh, was talking about a lady named Jennifer Zhang. Uh, who reported uh, for a fact all these balloons are 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 being uh, you know sent from China and that they belong to to the Chinese Communist Party? Uh, you know uh, Jennifer Zhang is I guess uh, against the CCP uh, even though she is uh, from China and uh, um, from what I understand that there is a Chinese stratospheric force just like America has a space force. Uh, so does China, but China, you know, and we have an air force here in America, but China also has a stratospheric force, I guess. And, uh, uh, the, the, one of their bases for the stratospheric force is in Hainan Island, China. And there's a man named Wang Hong Ping that has a contact within the Chinese communist party, uh, that Jennifer Zhang is, is presenting in, in one of her videos. Uh, that the stratospheric force of China has a base uh, uh, in uh, Nikon, N-E-I-C-U-N, Hainan Island, China. Uh, Wang Hongping stated this stratospheric force uh, has obtained the ability to get thousands of these balloons in the air in a short period of time at a very low cost. In my opinion, it's very probable that the balloons are being sent from this Chinese Communist Party base. All right. I, I, it just makes sense to me. If you have a stratospheric force and these balloons are being sent into the stratosphere and, and, and this base is being talked about by these people, more than likely these, these balloons, they're coming from somewhere. Back here in Washington, there is breaking news tonight on that Chinese spy balloon. CBS News has just learned that U.S. intelligence watched the high-flying airship as it lifted off near China's south coast. That means the U.S. military had been tracking it for nearly a week before it entered U.S. airspace, longer than originally known. And we know that China's lying, saying that American balloons are over Chinese property, and, th and that's an outright lie. From what I understand, the the there's been quite a few people in government uh, in 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 dealing with things that that have outright denied those claims by China that 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 you know America has balloons there. These Chinese balloons have been going on for some five years, I guess. It's been happening for quite some time uh, during the Donald Trump administration, and I guess he was never told about it or knew about it and decided not to say anything. I don't know, but I I do have a viewer. Uh, that sent me a video of one of these balloons, and, and I want to show you that video to you now. See, isn't that interesting? Even before this, this Chinese spy balloon was being, uh, a big deal was being made out of it, this, this balloon had appeared and, and uh, uh, some, one of our viewers was able to catch this on film, 
And, and I think that that's rather interesting. He said it was either in June or July of 2022 that he had caught this uh, video of this balloon. And I, I just think that's crazy, people, that, that this has been going on. And, and all of a sudden it's being made a big deal, especially when the things about, you know, Joe Biden and the Nord Stream 2 pipelines are, are coming to light. You know, I, I, I think that it's this is a form of distraction, but it is a form of escalation in World War Three. Uh, anyways, uh, f from what I understand, you know, they, 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 uh, uh, plan on releasing these, uh, you know, the Chinese communist party plan on releasing more balloons. So we're not done, uh, with this whole situation. We're not out of the, out of the woods yet, but these are not UFOs. They're not from outer space. Uh, this, that's a psyop people. I, I believe they're trying to trick people into looking foolish. I believe these are more Chinese balloons that are being shot down. Okay. So I, I wanted to talk to you about that. I also have a friend uh, who is a truck driver, and, and uh, uh, he, he knows quite a few people all over the United States. And he got a call today from someone uh, down in Savannah, Georgia. And, uh, this, and, and as he was on the phone with this man, uh, he had heard so many fighter jets flying over. He said, he said during a 15-minute phone conversation, you know, he heard, you know, eight different instances of hearing the engines roar. But uh, his friend stated that uh, each time those engines were roaring, there was more than one plane. Here's a video of, of three plane, three different planes coming in basically at the same time. Uh, uh, and, and also uh, uh, another video of a fourth plane. Uh, and the, the man stated that these uh, uh, planes, some of them did have missiles. Uh, that were loaded onto them. Check this out. So, so I also want to state about about these these uh, fighter jets uh, is that you know the, the man who was on the phone with my friend said that this was a very odd. He says that you know they get planes and all that stuff, but he said that that you know they he's never seen so many all at once, and it almost seemed like maybe the jets were coming back from a situation where they were being scrambled. Um, the 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 only uh, airstrip, military airstrip that we could find there is is, is at the Hunter Airfield, uh, uh, the the, air, the the military base there, the Hunter Airfield, and and so I just wanted to make you guys aware that you know it, there was this military activity going on. Uh, you know, I also have been hearing. Uh, f I live far away from Savannah, Georgia, and and I've been hearing fighter jets in the sky uh, over where I live. And, you know, you can hear that rumble, you know, that, that supersonic rumble. And so I, I find it very interesting that there's so much activity happening uh, all at once, you know. Uh, so I, anyways, uh, I appreciate all of you guys uh, uh, listening to this episode of End Times Talk. And, and I appreciate each and every one of you uh, uh, for being a part of this channel. I love you guys so much. And, and we have to remember that even though all these signs are kind of happening all at once, uh, that we need to not be fearful of the situation. We need to know that we can lean upon God in these in these tough times. Uh, we, we don't have to worry about what's before us, but we do need to be paying attention, I believe. We need to at least be equipped with information and be aware of the things happening around us, but not to allow it to overcome us. God did not give us a spirit of fear, okay? Fear is of the devil. All right, unless it's the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom, and that just means that you respect God for who he is, what he's capable of, and, and you know that, that he means what he says, and he says what he means. And so I, I think that we need to be as wise as serpents, but as harmless as doves through this situation, uh, and we need to keep watchful uh, eyes on, on the skies and, and have our ears to the ground as well. 
uh, and, and it's and I believe that it, the Lord wants me to warn you people of, of things that are happening around us these uh, uh, different instances you know and these escalations that are happening all over the place I think it's rather important to to be uh, uh, vigilant and, and not to let any of these instances slip by us uh, because you know when 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 the power finally goes out we don't know if it's going to be an EMP or if they're just going to shut off the power on us however it happens you know the information that we had leading up to that point is is the information we're going to have uh, once it goes dark you know and, and there's a day where it very well could go dark you know and and there could be an electromagnetic pulse or there could be a, a false flag you know a, 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 a cyber attack or or they'll just shut off the power on us and say it was a cyber attack or say it was an emp you know uh we we have to remember that 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 the information that we've been gathering up to this point uh, is the crucial information that we need to know the situation that's coming ahead of us. If it, if things were to go dark, you know, and, and, the, and the information were to run dry, I mean, all you have is, is what you know already and what the Spirit of the Lord is telling you, you know, and so you have to make all your decisions upon that information as, as to the moves you're going to make, make next to keep your family safe. So that's why I'm doing this, and, and, and also, you know, we have other videos planned, uh, but I, I try to do uh, news updates like this to, to uh, keep people aware and keep people on their toes. So I appreciate each and every one of you, and may God bless you, and may God keep you. Thanks for watching. The idea, the idea that we're going to send in offensive equipment and have planes and tanks and trains uh, going in with American pilots and American crews, just understand and don't kid yourself, no matter what you all say. That's called World War III, okay?